I'm on a place called Triangle Mountain. Down there, right in the center of the screen is, uh, well, Victoria's down there. Right down there. Just beyond the water is Victoria. You can see the little lights down there. It's uh, 4.30 in the morning, the 22nd of June. And this, my friends, is Taxi Vlog 261. It's a special one today. Yeah, so I just dropped off up here on Triangle Mountain. And uh, it was uh, a $40 fare from Victoria down there. And it, uh, I got... Uh, I got fifty dollars for doing it. I hope this camera is still working. Anyhow, um, yeah, it's been quite a week. Actually, this morning, after I parked this taxi, I'm on vacation. So, I usually put these out on Monday morning, talking about, or Monday evening at work, and on Tuesday morning, I, I post these videos, but this one is going to be posted, I guess, uh, Saturday morning, this morning, I'm going to put this video together. Now the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going on vacation uh, tomorrow, and so I will not be touching a taxi for at least two weeks. And after a two-week vacation, I don't believe I'm going to be remembering uh, anything like uh, what happened this week at work. Well, Monday I came to work and it was relatively quiet. And uh, I got through the night and made a bit of money. Not, not great amounts, but... Uh, I th actually on Monday I didn't do too badly. I, I, uh, I did okay. I think I made a hundred dollars. Whatever I made, doesn't matter. It was an uneventful night. It was mostly quiet, but and I did a lot of reading. I was reading from this series called Voyagers uh, by uh, Ben Bova. I'm on the third one now. I was on the second one a week ago. I also read a Robert J. Sawyer novel in between there. And uh, I got through the Monday night. Tuesday night was slower than Monday. Tuesday was pretty quiet actually. And uh, I was not doing too well. I got through the whole night. And uh, at around this time of the morning, I got a call. And that call went from town to the airport. $50. Just like the trip I just did up Triangle Mountain from Victoria. Well, I did that run to the airport and I brought the cab back into town. I fueled it up. I'll close the window here so we're not making so much there. Maybe that's a little quieter. And I parked the cab and then I got into my little car and I started driving home. And about halfway home, it dawned on me that I'm going to be on vacation on my birthday, the 2nd of July. The 2nd of July is also the first Tuesday of the month. And the first Tuesday of the month is the only day during which you can renew your chief's permit and a chief's permit is basically a permit to drive a taxi in Victoria. It expires every year. 
you don't have one, you're not allowed to drive taxi. You can be stopped at any time by a police officer, and if your chief's is not current, you get pulled off the road. You have to park it immediately. And so I was going, damn, damn, damn. I should have remembered to go in June. And the funny thing is that every year I go in June because it's only on the first Tuesday of the month. But I had forgotten. Now, back in 1997, when I took a vacation, it was in summer, just like this, end of June, beginning of July, my dad and I went to Alaska. And I, I recently posted a video of the photos from that, of some photos from that trip on uh, my other channel, or one of my other channels. I might leave a link to it here. If I forget, it's because I'm real tired. But anyway, after, during that trip, there was so much to do and so much to arrange and so much to see that I had forgotten to renew my Chiefs before going on the trip. And back then, you could renew it any Tuesday. Any Tuesday of them, any Tuesday. So it was the only time I ever got asked for my Chiefs was after I got back from Alaska and I had I had my, uh, I got, went through a roadblock and they asked me for my driver's license and my chiefs. And my chiefs was not current. So, it was a Saturday night if I recall. Does that work better with the light on? I don't know. It was a Saturday night if I recall. And I got stopped by a roadblock downtown. And they saw my expired chiefs, and so I had to park it. It wasn't a big deal because the next Tuesday, which was, I think, my next shift, the next Tuesday night, the next Tuesday I could um, go and get my chiefs renewed, and uh, I was good to go. I only missed, like, half a Saturday night. The rest of my week was fine. Okay, but this time, my next opportunity, like I was saying, it was perfect that my chiefs expired on my birthday, and my birthday was the first Tuesday of the month. All of that worked out so good, except that I'm not going to be in town on that day. I'm going to be somewhere else. I'm going to be on the road. I'm road tripping it. So, I had to work out something. And I thought, oh, I'll call the police station and, and try and talk to Charlotte, the, the lady who does these uh, renewals. I left a message on her answering machine and didn't get called back. So that evening I talked to a couple other drivers and one driver said, well, it looks like you're fucked, pal. Another driver says, oh, Charlotte, just go there, talk to her. Tell her what your problem is with your chief's permit. Tell her how much, tell her that, you know, you just won't be here on the only day in the month that you can renew it that you'll be a thousand miles away and uh, she'll renew it for you. So the following day, now we took Cindy's car in to be repaired because the air conditioning wasn't working. And uh, so we had to take Cindy's car in to get the air conditioning repaired. 
and I said, well, after we drop your car off, I have to go to the police station, since we're in town anyway. And I, I was going to confront Charlotte. I was going to talk to her. I was going to get my chief's permit, because there's no way I wanted to interrupt my trip just to come home. Bunnies! Oh! That's another thing. There's bunnies here on the side of the road. There's bunnies in that little hill over there. Oh, I needed that. I needed to see bunnies this morning. And I'll tell you why. Later on in the vlog. Oh, there's another one standing on his... Oh, they're so cute, bunnies. Bunnies are great. I'll get to that. So I went in there with great trepidation. Oh, there's more bunnies there. No, there's no more bunnies. That's it. That's it for bunnies. There's a whole bunch of them. There's a colony of bunnies there. I I went there and I asked to speak to Charlotte and the uh, desk sergeant, I guess that's what you call those guys, went inside and looked for her and came back out and says, well, she's in. I saw her earlier this morning, but she must be on a coffee break. Do you want to come back later or do you want to wait? And I said, I want to wait. As much as an hour later, I was still waiting. And I'm going, well, what? Did she go on a, on a Alaska cruise or coffee break? You know? So, sitting there and waiting in the front part, I guess the lobby of the police station, it made me feel like that time I was crossing the Thousand Islands Bridge from uh, Kingston in Ontario to New York State. And when I got to New York State, uh, I went through customs and they asked me, you know, where am I going? I said, I'm going to New York City. What's your, uh, what's your occupation? And I said, well, I'm a professional driver. And they said, well, what do you drive? I said, a taxi. And they said, okay, park your car in stall number three and um, go inside the office and talk to the guy behind the desk. And of course, there's about 50 desks. And the guy behind the desk is the guy behind the last desk at the other end of the office says, give me the keys to your car. So I gave him the keys to my car, and he said, sit on this bench and wait for us. I sat on that bench for about 45 minutes, and it's like, you know how the, the stress level and, and the things that go through your mind, you know, I hope they don't find anything in my car that's objectionable, or I hope that this goes okay, and, and uh, just, okay, I'll sit here quietly, even though I hate the inconvenience of sitting here quietly. This sucks. Well, this is the same way I felt in the police station. My battery died. That happens. Anyway, finally, I think that's where I was. I was given the keys to my car and I was told you may proceed. Well finally in the police station Charlotte came out and she was behind a came out from behind the door security they got all kinds of blocking mechanisms and stuff and the desk sergeant guy, I guess that's what he is, uh, showed her me sitting there for the last hour and a half patiently. And she asked me, so what's the problem with your permit? And I said, well, as it turns out, my chief's permit expires on the first Tuesday of the month which also happens to be my birthday, so the timing is perfect. However, I'm not going to be here to renew it.
<clears throat> she asked me, so where will you be? And I said, well, I'm going to be in Alberta on a trip. And she says, well, when are you leaving? I said, on Sunday. Oh, I got a call. And, uh, when will you be back? And I said, well, the 7th or 8th of July. So clearly I can't be there. And she said, all right. I'll only do this one time for you. Give me your driver's license, your old chief's permit, and $35 be back she said you know you should have renewed it in August in uh, in June I said yes I know I should have renewed it in June in fact I always do renew it in June so I don't have a missed day because the first Tuesday in July if it's not the second then I would have no chief's permit for some time and I don't like leaving it and she said okay anyway she left I sat in the chair again for about 25 minutes then she came out with my new permit and a receipt and my driver's license and uh, now she was all smiley and almost flirty you know, and she's saying, so, where are you going? I, I said, yeah, we'll be going up to Jasper, and Barkerville, and Pincher Creek, and Lethbridge, and Moose Jaw, and Nelson, and Grand Forks, and Seattle, and all these places. I was relieved now that I had my chief's permit on Thursday morning so Wednesday night Wednesday night I was of course I had been on pins and needles the whole night and even though the night turned out okay I was just killing myself with the stress and anxiety of maybe having to interrupt my trip and um, rush back down from Alberta and maybe miss the moose jaw leg of my trip which which would be devastating I've been looking forward to this for a long time okay so uh, that was Wednesday night I guess and Thursday I had my chief's permit so Thursday night which was last night I came to work and uh, the night was steady enough. It was busy for a while. And then between 1 and 7, I think I slept 5 hours. And I had a couple of good fares in there. Yeah, it turned out all right. So then we get to Friday which I will tell you about when I get back after I drop these people off I'm about to pick up. Yeah, so it took about uh, eight or nine minutes to do that trip and uh, I got another fifteen dollars for it. At this point in my night every little bit is profit going right into my pocket. So, yeah, I'm gonna stay out longer. What had happened is the uh, guy who drives day shift Friday, Saturday, and Sunday quit yesterday. So I was able to keep the car out a little longer to, you know, because nobody was driving it in the morning. So I did that just so that I could have a fairly decent night last night. So I got home a little late because it was uh, 
because of, of that. You know, I got home late. So I went to uh, had something to eat and I went to bed. And it wasn't long before Cindy came to wake me up because we had to go get her car from the shop where they repaired the air conditioning. You see, she doesn't want to travel in a car without air conditioning in the summer because it can get hot and she can't stand the heat, so she's got to have air conditioning. So we had to go pick up her car, the van, in which we will be traveling on our road trip. And that's why it had to be done now. Uh, and then she had already packed some things for our rabbits. Now, I mentioned bunnies before. Here's the bunny part. Um, we were having some trouble finding someone to take care of our bunnies while we're out of town. But um, I asked the cab owner if he would do it. And the reason I asked him was because he had had a guinea pig that, that died two or three months ago, and and his little he's got three little boys, and the little boys love the guinea pig. And I mentioned that we have two bunnies, and they you know when we were gone on our trip. Uh, somebody we need someone to take care of them for us. And he said, Yeah, we'd love to. Just got to clear it with uh, the landlord, and it will be okay. Sure enough, he cleared it with the landlord and everything was fine. In fact, I have some of the bunny gear in the trunk here because we had forgotten to bring it last night. Anyway, here's what happened with, with, with the rabbits. Um, the rabbits knew something was up because their cage was on the floor and filled with towels and uh, pet paraphernalia. And so even though we put food in there, we could not get the bunnies to go into the cage. Usually they go by themselves into their cage, and they roam around free all over our place, and then they, they go back in the cage, and they come out of the cage, and they go back in the cage, and they come out of the cage, and they're in and out all the time. But yesterday, in the afternoon, they would not go back into the cage. And we tried to coerce them into the pet carrier, and we could not get them to go into the pet carrier either. And then we tried to act nonchalant, as if that would work. <laughs> the rabbits knew something was up, and they didn't want to go in their cage, and they didn't want to go in the pet carrier. They didn't like either of those places, and they didn't want to go, and we tried harder and harder to get them in there, but nothing was working. We couldn't pick them up and just stuff them in and uh, we couldn't get them to go under their own power. We, we even put food in there, and, and when one, one of the bunnies got halfway into the pet carrier, I tried to push her butt in, but she jumped right over my hand and out and, and, and went away. And anyway, they, were, they knew something was up, and now we were stressing them some more by trying to get them into these containers. Well then, one of Cindy's rabbits decided to go and take a poop. So she was sitting in one of our improvised uh, one of our improvised litter boxes. And I thought, oh, you're sitting in that litter box so nicely. I just lifted up the whole litter box and I grabbed the litter box and I held it up about at my eye level so that the bunny wouldn't jump out because if it's too high they don't jump so <laughs> so I held the litter box up like that and it, it the litter box was small enough to fit right in the, the gate of the cage so I put the litter box with the bunny in it in the cage and closed the cage okay bunny in cage And the other one, well, what we did was we herded her down the hall and we used a mattress from the bed to make like a V-shaped thing where 
at the point of the V was where the pet carrier was. So we managed to herd the bunny in with a cardboard box and a mattress and uh, a stick. And so we got her into the pet carrier. So we got the bunnies to the cab owner's place. And uh, now I'm getting tired now. First it was a battery that was dead. Now it was a SD card that was full. So I had to erase something that was on there. And what I ended up erasing was last week's vlog. <laughs> Which I hadn't uh, erased yet for some strange reason even though I have three copies of it on my computer and on a couple of uh, hard drives yeah didn't I say this was a special edition it's my vacation edition oh the bunnies are at the uh, cab owners place now and uh, they're they're gonna be taken care of for the two weeks that we're gone. We're road tripping. Uh, you probably won't see me in this particular capacity until oh, halfway through July. But we'll be making a lot of uh, vacation videos and maybe we'll put some up before we get back from the trip. And I don't feel like working much anymore. I made a bit of money last night. Didn't get rich by any measure, but I just don't feel like being out here in the morning. It doesn't feel right. I did tell the owner that I was going to wash it. So I think our next stop is the car wash, and then vacation. Hope yours is better than mine. See you in July.